This is the help video for the semester one finals review packet. This is the unit one help video. Taking a look here, I'm gonna do one problem from each section partially, not completely. So for problems like this, you always wanna start by circling what you're distributing. Circle what you distribute. Make sure you get that negative sign there. So we have negative 20n. It's going to be minus 5. And then negative times a negative is going to be positive. So positive 8n minus 6 equals 8 negative 8n plus 7n. Do physical collect, where you collect like terms on both sides, and then solve for the variable. Taking a look here. You want to get an equivalent equation in order to get rid of the fractions. And you need to, number one, put that any whole number over one. So we have a six, a one, a three, and a two. And you're looking for the lowest common denominator, the LCD. And what do they all go into? And that's going to be six. So I'm gonna put a six here. Now watch what I do. I'm gonna to work to the right. Two goes into six three times, bring around. 3 times 3, that's going to be 9. 3 goes into 6 twice. Bring it around. Little 2, 2 times 5, that's 10. And a plus sign in between, another plus sign. This one. 1 goes into 6, 6 times. Bring this around. There's a 6 there, so I have 6n. Equal sign. And then six goes into six once, bring it around, little baby one, one times seven is seven. Now you have nothing but whole numbers. That's called arrow in, arrow out. Once again, be very careful. When you start with a whole number, you have to make sure you put it over one before you determine your lowest common denominator. When it comes to simplifying, you simply do the tree, and then you take out the dates. And you multiply what's on the outside. This one down here, we have to add and subtract. But before we can do that, you have to simplify. So we're going to simplify 18. That's going to be 9 and 2, 3 and 3. I have a pair of 3s. That's going to come out as 1, 3. So this becomes negative 3 root 2. Watch your signs. 2 and 4, 2 and 2. We have a pair of 2s come out. 2 times 2, that's going to be 4 root 2. With a plus sign in the middle. Minus, there's this one and two, no date, stays the same. And this last one, pair of twos come out as one, two times two, that's going to be minus four root three. And then you collect like terms. For these, you always want to make sure that you don't simply try to find what it tells you to find. So it's telling you to find this, but it's important your eyes will don't focus, does not focus on that. Instead, you ask yourself, what can I find? Anything. Make it really simple. Anything I can find. Kind of ignore what it's asking until the very end. So let me give you an example. Let's see. This is 26. 
And if that's 14, 26, 14, you should be able to find this, of course, is going to be 26 minus 14. You do the math. And here's another example. Again, what can you find instead of should find? This is 26. This is 22. So you can see right here, that's going to be this space. Whatever 26 minus 22 is, you do your math, gets here. So you don't focus on what you're trying to find. You focus on what you can find. And then this entire thing, of course, is still 26. Use those squiggle ends to find what's in the middle. It says, find the missing me measurement. Round your answer to the nearest tent. Take care to use correct units. So be very careful here. Watch very carefully. Here on the right, I am given the area. I shade the area here. I'm given the area. And the area here is 60 feet square. Now I know in general area equals whatever the length is length times width. So once you have the equation, we're going to circle plug chug. Area is 60 feet squared equals our length is unknown feet times our width. Careful here. We have a discrepancy in units. Notice the area is in feet, the length is in feet, but the width is in inches. So before you can use this width, you need to get it into feet. So we know 72 inches. We know the conversion rate in the first dimension, 12 inches equals one foot. So you're asking yourself, how many 12s goes into 72? So 72, let's see how many 12s go in there. Well, you know 76 times 12 is going to be, try that, that's going to be 12, carry the one. You know it's six feet. So we just figured out that 72 inches is the equivalent of six feet. So your length you don't know. So your equation to simplify it looks like this. Now that you have all the same units, feet, 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 you can do this. 60 equals 6x. And then you solve for your unknown, and your unknown is in feet. So watch the units there. Watch the units. Your thing equations here. Most important thing here is to trace. And if you trace this, you know that this angle and this angle adds up to 180. Racing here, you can feel it's back to back. We know this angle and this angle adds up to 90. So your thing equation here is angle plus angle equals 90 in this case. You can look here. We have an angle here, trace angle here. An angle here, ask yourself what you know is true. Over here, take a look, angle, trace angle, trace angle, ask yourself what you know is true in that diagram. Taking a look at 19. 
it says list all the in all the information given by the mark. So you're not making assumptions about what's true here or even deductions. You are you are writing down exactly what is true. So I'm going to go one by one here. I'm going to color code it. We know these angles are marked congruent. So I would write it like this. Angle W, V, U is congruent to the angle V, U, T. V, U, T, congruent. That's one set of things that we have congruent. What else is going on? Well, see the double hatch marks? See the double hatch marks? You know this as well. We know that the segment VU is congruent to the segment TS, right? That's given. If you take a look closely, there's another piece of given information right here. You want to write that down. And the symbol for that is perpendicular. So that's, you have three different sets of markings. You have three different sets of things that are true. 